Okay, the sun is setting, it's behind the trees, but I have paint I need to use. And I think there's still more light out here than there is inside. I'm gonna see how much I can do in the shortest amount of time possible. And that includes spreading some background paint so I don't have to do what I just did, which was spend 45 minutes filling in. I'll worry about my edges later. I've got two spatulas, so if I get... Oh, I'm gonna have paint on my edges. Cool. I've got a lot of paint there. Well, facilitating time. And no flow troll boogers. That's cool. All right. My intention was to put black on the other side, but I'm seeing that there's a lot of white here, and so we're just going to cover the whole thing with white. Let's see what happens. I have two containers I'll show you in a second. One with a little, one with a lot. I don't know what's going to happen. I just want so much to use them, and I wish I could get them to come out of the container right like they are. But that's probably more than... I should expect. All right, white spatula did a pretty good job of quickly covering the whole canvas with white paint. If I put my glasses on, I will see whether that's true or not. Oh, it isn't true. All right, let's turn it around, hit the spots I missed, pick out the flow troll boogers or whatever they are. There's enough paint there to slide. I don't think we're going to call this, we can't call it a dirty pour cup or a flip cup. I guess it's a dirty pour cup. It's just made with uh, my leftovers. Boy, we've got all kinds of weird stuff in there. Fortunately, it's late in the day and as long as I use up this paint, I'll feel better. Maybe I won't throw that special in the bucket. Where'd the black come from? I'll just, uh, I didn't use any black. So I'll keep that because I might want it. I've got beautiful paint. I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab my little spatula that I threw in the bucket. That I have lots of wet rags handy, so that spatula, as long as it's not too dripping, it is dripping a little. I want all of that to come out right there. I guess it could be a ribbon pour too, in some manner of speaking. I don't want too much brown happening, and it looks like I have quite a bit of stuff I'm not sure of. But I have lots and lots of other color. So I think there's some silicone in the bottom of that cup, just a little. My inclination is to take my tubing and have a blow. See what happens. I guess I missed my lung exercises because, ooh, that's interesting. That's a head rush in the making. Now, what I was doing was using my little butter dish, and that's what I'm going to do again. I'm going to give it a quick scrub because the less brown I can bring to the table, the happier I'll be. I've got plenty of damp rags that absorb water quite quickly, even better than paper towels. I'm trying to convince myself. Okay, so if I don't like all of what I see here, I will just add some more color. And I kind of like the fact that there's some of that left in here. Because my theory is I should be able to just smooth that right over the edge. I've got weird stuff on my spatula. Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. I must have just done it. A little frazzled. We have, uh... oh, the sun is coming out again. Good. We have some beautiful turquoise here. I have some lovely green and gold. I have all kinds of wonderful colors. And the cells are just popping. I'm just gonna keep scooping and playing, especially since I don't have to fill in any white this time. I have another spatula. Where are you, other spatula? Okay, it must be in the bucket. I'll just use the round one for now. And I will continue. Yep, I'm going to grab it out of the bucket. It's right there. 
That's, I don't want water on my canvas. Okay. Sounds like a whiny little girl. Soak that right up. Just because I can. And I know I can. Now, I love the paint that I've got in this container, but I have a certain lack of faith that it will come out exactly like that. I'm going to wipe my spatula off again. I'm going to throw a bunch of red in there. I'm going to let all of this run like a crazy thing and hope that we get something good and know that because I have some good colors, I can cover some stuff up if I need to. All right, I'm going to go crazy with the red. I would go crazy with the red if I could, but the, the tip is busy clogging up. So, I'm, I'm really inclined to just go for it. And see what happens. Because it's late. And these are great colors. And there's lots of paint on here. And I'm good with a skewer. <laughs> And I've got surgical tubing to blow things with. So, I can also squeeze bottle stuff on if I want. That's going in the bucket. I'm going to clean off my spatula. I may, boy oh boy, that's interesting, huh? I may find an edge catcher. And I don't mind ruining too much. I think we're going to take this right over here. Oh, I don't want all that. Okay, well, it is what it is, and I'm sending it back. What was that, I wonder? <laughs> I have no idea. I want some of the color I'm going to scrape right off. I hope. Maybe. I love that red over there. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I wish that tip hadn't clogged up. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking that even more now. So. For lack of a straw. Oh, I do have a big straw. And I have things flying everywhere. Okay, I have a bunch of brown right there that I'm not overly fond of, and I'm going to uh, take advantage of the fact that I know what to do with it. Especially, I got flies. Feels more like ants in my, never mind. Okay, so that is kind of cool. It's certainly not done yet. I kind of want that to go. In a different direction. So I'm going to let it go. That way. And then I'm going to find some purples. And maybe some blues. see if I can save my ass, <laughs> excuse me, with my instinct. Let's see if I can get something interesting, because the colors are stellar, but um, the shape is kind of weird so far. Not that that ever stopped me before, and it's not going to stop me now by any stretch. I promise you. I don't want you over there. Okay, that was a little clumsy on my part, but it doesn't matter because it's all just going to get squeezed right back down there. I'm going to have a look, see. I 
like the purple over there. I'd like a slightly different shape. I'm not sure how that's going to work. This paint seems to be flowing pretty easily right now. And I can actually pick paint up if I want to. If I want to. Or, what else can I do? I can use my skewer and drag some stuff around. Bring some stuff up. Add some cohesiveness to the pattern. I can always throw black in. I think this needs to continue on over here. I say that and you, I know you can't see me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have some nice dark blue around here somewhere. And I think I need a little bit of that. Oh, I think it's even a color shift. Right up there. Let's use my skewer to mix it up a little. Make it look like it was there all along. Borrow some paint. Move some paint around. Yeah, I'm not minding that. Can always throw a little more of that pink in there. And my purple never hurts my feelings ever. I wonder where the green is. I didn't. I know there was some green in there. I do. Oh, that looks more like Floetrol than anything else. So let's just pull that right off. Still looks kind of clear, but it's got plenty of other paint for company, so I'm not going to worry about it. And eventually, yep, I like that. That's leading the eye up and around. I know even if I scrape my skewer right through there, it will heal. I want some of my color continuously up there. Yes, yeah, so now it's my color. <laughs> okay, so what do I want to do and where do I want to do it? And that would be down here. Not minding that. Got plenty of it to thin it out. I know the purple together with the turquoise color shift makes a beautiful blue. Every time I do something like this, I wonder if this is going to be the one I opt not to share with you guys. But I really don't mind it. I'm actually kind of liking it. And I think it might be nearly done, which is a, probably a very good thing because I think there's like six minutes left on the timer that I did manage to remember to, to set this time. I don't know why I did that, but I like it, so I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. As long as the paint is still wet, it will do a little merging. I like that contrast of that green up there. I don't know if I'm going to want it anywhere else. I like this down here. I wonder what that straw would do. Now I'm basically talking to myself and you're eavesdropping. I'm kidding. I'm going over there. I don't know if I'll like it once I do that. I don't hate it. I'm not overly thrilled with that, but I expect that I can do something with it. And as I agitate the paint, knowing there was some silicone in the bottom of that dish originally, means that as we agitate the paint, we'll get something. I think I need a little bit of orange down here. Yep, just to draw the eye around inside. I hope I'm right.
let that paint that's falling over become edge cover. Yeah, I don't hate that. Now I just got to figure out what to do over here. Over here being... Over here. And maybe you can see that and maybe you can't. I want to steal some paint and I'm going to do it. I really like that light blue and I don't use nearly enough of it and I think I'm going to use some of it right now because I can and I don't mind that my bamboo skewer has some other colors on it because I'm feeling like whoa that almost went over wow I'm glad that didn't happen that's never happened before and this would not be a good time to start like that. I only have one area left I want to, I'm kind of wondering about, and that's down here. I'm liking that orange up there. As long as I didn't completely annihilate it right then. Pour a little more in here. Yep, liking that. I'm not going to mix it in too much or muddy it. I think I want even more up here. Yep, I've got some lighter color orange that might make a nice pop somewhere. Whoops! <laughs> I forget, I got a really, really big cut open tip on that one. So, I get what I get, I guess. Oh, that's weird. I wonder where that black came from. It's probably on my... Probably on my bamboo skewer. But I'm not hating any of this. I'm going to wipe my skewer off, though, because I want to pick up some of that excess orange up there. I'll bring it right down here to the edge. And let it run right over. And I'm not hating that. I'd like a little gold over here. We're going to run out of time. we got two minutes. So what that means to me is, if I want to show you what the torch will do, I should do that now. check out whatever else I need to do after. I think the blue and the gold is good together. So that's what I'm going to fill in with. Yes, and I like it. Not only that, I like it with the orange as well. And there's so many cool layers. It actually looks kind of like a ring pour in the center here. And I'm going to call it time Oops, dip my finger right in there. Yep, I'm okay with that. I'm going to use a torch and uh, say goodbye. Getting some nicer cells. I could probably use some Rain-X and go even more crazy. There may wind up being a couple of spirals in there that you don't see me add. <laughs> Nothing major. I got to use my paint up. I'm happy. I didn't waste it. I could have maybe saved it for tomorrow. You are going to hear the timer go off really, really soon. Well, it says 45 seconds, so... The only thing I can see that I really want to mess with is this over here. And that just makes me want to go right there. And that makes me happy. Tap, tap, tap that around. Throw some of it down there. And maybe even... I got some schmutz there. I think that needs to go away. I don't mind that. And I'll say... I'll see you in the next video because my timer is going off. Bye for now.